children, before starting today's session, can you identify and name the given icons that are visible on the Home tab of Word document? They are bold, italic, text, font color, increase font size, font, alignment, and shape fill tools. You have guessed it right. What is the use of these tools? They are used to beautify the document which in nothing but formatting. So today, we are going to learn some advanced features of word processor. By the end of this session, you will learn about bullets and numbering, use of drawing tools, and use of advanced formatting tools. You have seen information organized in lists at various places. Lists make it easy to find a particular information that you are searching for. You can create to-do list to remember the tasks that you have to complete in a day. To organize lists in Microsoft Word, use either bulleted lists or numbered lists. To create a list, select the text you want to present as a list. On the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click Bullets drop-down arrow. Select the bullet style. You will see a bulleted list applied to your text. Similarly, for Numbered list, select the Numbering drop-down in the Paragraph group. Select the Numbering style. You will notice a numbered list applied to your text. You can start typing your text with list. To do this, you need to first click on the list in the Home tab. From the Paragraph group. When you click Enter key after typing certain text, list will appear automatically for next sentence or text. If you want to remove bullets or numbers from a list, Select the list and click the bullets or numbering commands. Now let us learn drawing tools. You can insert an image in Word document to make it attractive. To do this, place the cursor where you want the image to appear. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click the Pictures command. The Insert Picture dialog box appears. Select the image file from your computer. Click Insert. The picture will appear in the document. To insert pictures online, place the cursor where you want the image to appear. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click Online Pictures. The Bing search appears. In the search text box, type a word that describes the clip art you are searching for. Click search. In the list of results, click the image you want to insert. Click insert option. The image will be inserted. You can add a variety of shapes to your document, such as arrows, callouts, squares, stars, flowchart symbols, etc. To insert shapes, place the cursor where you want shape to appear. On the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click the arrow below the Shape command. Click a shape from the menu. The shape cursor changes to cross shape. Drag the mouse until you get the shape of desired size. Release the mouse button. Illustrations make an impression in the document. 
SmartArt illustrates the information using graphical list, diagrams, or charts. The text is thus easier to understand. To insert a smart art illustration, place the cursor where you want the smart art graphic to appear. On the insert tab, in the illustrations group, select the smart art command. The choose a smart art graphic dialog box appears. Select a category on the left of the dialog box and view the graphics that appear in the center. Click a graphic to select it. Click OK. Enter the text into the task pane fields. The information will appear in the graphic. To add some artistic feel or special effects to the text in the document, use the word art command. This text becomes an object that you can move in the document. You can modify or add to the text in an existing word art. To add word art, place the cursor where you want to insert the word art. On the insert tab, in the text group, click word art. A menu appears with a list of inbuilt options. Click the word art style that you want. Type the text in the text box. You can create borders around paragraphs, table or around the entire document. To do so, select the paragraph. On the home tab, in the paragraph group, Click all borders. Click border and shading option. Borders and shading dialog box appears. Select the border of your choice. Click OK. The border will appear around the paragraph. If you select none, the border will be removed. Now, let us learn the advanced formatting and editing tools, superscript and subscript. The superscript command reduces the size of text and places it slightly above the line of text. To apply superscript, select the text. On the home tab, in the font group, click superscript. The subscript command reduces the size of the text and places it slightly below the line of text. To apply subscript, select the text. On the home tab, in the font group, click subscript. Format Painter lets you copy the same formatting, such as color, font style, size, and border style and quickly applies to other text to use format painter select the text that has the formatting that you want to copy on the home tab in the clipboard group click the format painter button the pointer changes to a paintbrush icon drag the mouse over a selection of text to apply the formatting Headers and footers provide a way to have some information appear at the top. That is, header or bottom means footer of every page in a document. Headers are used for document titles or author information. Footers are used to provide page number or date information. To create header or footer, on the insert tab, in the header and footer group, click either on header or footer command. A menu appears with a list of inbuilt options you can use. Click one of the inbuilt options and it will appear in the document. Type information into the header or footer. 
Also, there are many header and footer options that you can use in a document. You can see all your design options under the header and footer tools on the design tab. This tab appears when you click header or footer in a Word document. Modifying page layout At times, it may be required to print on a different page layout paper size or on a document with different margins. Page orientation describes the way a document is printed or displayed on a screen. The two main types are portrait in which the height is longer than the width and landscape in which the width is longer than the height. To change the page orientation, on the Page Layout tab. In the Page Setup group, click the Orientation drop-down arrow. Select the orientation of the page. Page breaks move the text to the next page before it reaches the end of a page. To create a page break, in the Layout tab, under the Page Setup group, click on Breaks. Select Page Break option. The page break will move the text to the next page. The shortcut key is, Ctrl plus Enter. Section breaks creates a hurdle between parts of a document, so that you can format each section independently. The different types of section breaks are. Next page. This option adds a section break and moves the text after the break to the next page of the document. This option is useful for creating a new page with normal formatting, after a page that contains column formatting. Continuous This option inserts a section break and allows you to continue working on the same page. This type of break is useful when you need to separate a paragraph from columns on the same page. Even and odd page. These options insert a section break and move the text after the break to the next even or odd page. These options may be useful when you need to begin a new section on an even or odd page. To insert a section break, place the cursor where you want to create the break. On the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, click the Breaks button. Select the desired section break from the drop-down menu. A section break will appear in the document. The text before and after the section break can now be formatted separately. To delete a break, on the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click the Show or hide command. Place the insertion point at the beginning of the break you want to delete. Press the delete key. The break will be deleted from the document. To change the size of the page, on the page layout tab, in the page setup group, click size. In the drop down menu, the current page size is highlighted. Click the size option you want. The page size of the document changes. To format page margins, on the page layout tab, in the page setup group, click margins. In the drop down menu, the current page margin is highlighted. Normal is the default page margin. Click the margin size you want. To customize the margins, click Custom Margins option in the Margin drop-down menu. The Page Setup dialog box appears. Modify the margin sizes for each side of the pages. Click OK. Indenting text adds structure to your document by separating the information. 
Indenting only the first line of each paragraph helps to separate paragraphs from one another. Word 2013 provides three indent markers that helps to indent paragraphs. First line indent marker adjusts the first line indent. Hanging indent marker adjusts the hanging indent. And left indent marker moves both the first line indent and hanging indent markers at the same time. It will indent all lines in a paragraph. To find a word in a long document, you can search the word using the find command. To do so, on the home tab, in the editing group, click the find command. The navigation pane will appear, on the left side of the screen. Type the word that you want to find in the field. If the word appears in the document then it will be highlighted in yellow and a preview will appear in the navigation pane. Now, to change or replace the word, click on the replace option. In the editing group, of home tab, type the text that you need to replace with. Your text will get replaced. To print a document, click the file menu and select print. The print pane appears. Apply the settings as desired. Click print. Recap. To organize text in Word 2013, use either bulleted or numbered list. To remove bullets or numbers from a list, select the list and click the bullets or numbering commands. WordArt inserts text with special text effects in the document. You can create borders around blocks of text, table or around the entire document. The content in the header appears at the top of the page. The content in the footer appears at the bottom on the page. You can change the page size and margins in a document. You can find a word or phrase and replace it with other word or phrase. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.